everyone and welcome to the channel now uh, i'm sure you can recall from a previous video that i did on planetary astrophotography i had used the two programs auto stackard and planetary imaging preprocessor uh, and i actually mentioned the program that we're going to be using today uh, to do our planetary imaging um, in that video and had said that i preferred not to use that one because i was more accustomed to auto stacker and planetary imaging preprocessor but come to find out uh, the other program that we're going to use today is so much easier to use and you can actually get your astrophotography image uh, up with planetary done within about five minutes um, of total time so uh, let's go ahead and get straight into it last night i actually was able to get some perfect data of jupiter uh, during the opposition, I was able to see the big red spot on Jupiter and even the shadow of Io uh, on the surface of Jupiter as well, along with several other moons uh, off in the distance. Now, uh, how does it actually work? How do we actually see this? Uh, let's go to our uh, video files. You can find that in the ASI cap file here. Hit open, capture objects. And that's done when you actually record it in the ASI studio, by the way, using the ASI cap. And it's actually what we're going to be using to do our planetary imaging. So uh, as you can see, I have all of my videos here. Uh, these ones were recorded with a Barlow lens, but they ended up becoming somewhat blurry because my Barlow lens is not the top-notch quality that it should be if I want to use a Barlow lens for astrophotography. Uh, but for this one, we use the ZWO ASI662 uh, camera, which is actually a great camera if you want to get a higher zoom um, on your planetary image. So... Uh, let's show you guys how to use this. It's going to be very quick. Um, it's not going to take a long time. You don't have to do extra processing afterwards. So go ahead and open ASI Video Stack. You can move this to the side. You can find this program, by the way, on the ZWO website. Uh, you just drag and drop your videos in. Uh, it was captured by a color camera. Choose your Bayer pattern. Make sure the Bayer pattern is correct. As you can see, it has a proper coloration here. Uh, drag out the amount of percentage uh, of frames that you want to stack. I'm going to put it up to about... 94% and it's so easy the way this works all you do is you press a stack button and you allow it to finish so let's allow this to stack uh, it won't take very long and we'll come back to the final image all right our image is stacked as you saw it only took about three minutes and 40 seconds to actually get it stacked and here is our image of Jupiter now you can actually go ahead and change some of the details on here uh, to get a higher amount of detail you can drag these little bars up uh, to do what you honestly whatever you want with it uh, you can change the saturation bring up that contrast obviously we don't want to bring that up too much let's kind of just leave it alone uh, brightness you can even turn down if you were to want to uh, noise reduction you can bring that up to get rid of some of the noise that we have in here and just bring the sharpness up even more if you really want a highly detailed and contrasted image so as you saw, honestly, it's extremely fast to get this done. Once you're done, you just go ahead and press the save button and it will save to the ASI cap directory. You'll see it here. Uh, here is our finalized JPG image. We just go ahead and crop it. But honestly, the amount of detail that we're able to get with the ASI 662 is awesome. Uh, very much incredible. Uh, it's so easy to actually just get this image. Uh, as you saw, it took about 3 minutes and 40 seconds to actually get it stacked and about 20 seconds of actual uh, editing time. And you can uh, edit it further if you want to in your uh, local uh, image editing programs, uh, even if it's just a program like you know Windows Photo Editor just to get it done. Uh, let's go ahead and save this just like that. And boom, here is our planetary image. Uh, very detailed. This was taken with a 6-inch Dubsonian during the opposition of Jupiter on November 2nd. Uh, no, sorry, November 3rd. So uh, we were able to get a lot of detail with it. Um, hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you didn't really know about a uh, planetary imaging program that's free, uh, you don't have to pay anything for it and it works absolutely great. So make sure you guys check it out. Um, if you're interested in checking out the uh, planetary camera, this was an untracked image, by the way. Uh, and you can find this camera in the link below. Uh, and also if you're interested in the the Dipsonian telescope i would just let you know what the name was it was the uh, orion xt6 uh Dubsonian telescope untracked manual so again this is a pretty good image for an untracked telescope only six inches but i guess this is you know this is just a result of using a good high quality camera such as the asi 662 mc so make sure you check that out as well if you're interested and uh hopefully this video helped you guys out to find a good planetary imaging software uh and it's honestly extremely easy to use. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe and stay tuned for future content.